What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. There's a saying, guys. I'm not sure if you realize what it is, but it says absolute power corrupts absolutely. And for those of you who live in the United States, you're used to a certain level of democracy a certain level of merit-based systems, okay? In the United States, if a person wants to get your business or keep your business or wants you to vote them back in, they have to perform under a real democratic process, okay? And that means fair elections. It means, you know, competing for what the citizens want and it definitely means, you know, doing what you're supposed to do. And it definitely means supporting your constituents in ways that they decide whether you have another four years in term or you're not, or you don't. That's merit-based system, okay? That's a merit-based system. And the United States does a fairly good job of doing that. But the problem is the dictator mindsets come into play in black America. And we see this a lot. You know, Philadelphia, I've seen this. Detroit, some of the Detroit suburbs. There was Monique Allen out in East Point. You have your district attorneys out there, like Fannie Willis. I mean, you just have a whole bunch of stuff going on in, in Black America where, you know, you can see something like this happening and you're like, oh, oh, damn, like this person think they're a, like, a dictator. And there's no one that's more evident of that than Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Oh, say, what do you really mean when you say that? Well, first of all, she does whatever she wants, okay? She shuts down all opposition, fires people, okay? And then we'll even come out and lie and say, you didn't do your research. But you got to have cronies, right? You got to have people do your dirty work. It's still teamwork. Even frauds have teamwork. Let's look at the first guy, Andrew Holmes. Andrew Holmes is like a broke man's, poor man's Al Sharpton, an alleged community leader, but he's out there doing this in Las Vegas. Better known for his work as a crisis responder helping victims of gun violence, Andrew Holmes has also served for several years as a trustee in the village of Dalton. Holmes is now named in a civil lawsuit filed Monday by a Dalton police officer and former member of Mayor Tiffany Henniard's security detail, as well as a former village employee who believes she was sexually assaulted by Holmes. We are withholding her identity because of the nature of the allegations, which are now, according to four Dalton trustees, part of what former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot will take on in her new job as special investigator into Mayor Henniard's tenure. She will be looking at it in a civil manner to, to uh, get the, give the board an idea. This is not a criminal matter that she's looking at it from that perspective. The complaint says the alleged incident took place during a trip to Las Vegas in May of last year that included Henniard along with various employees from the village and Thornton Township. And then there's the next guy, the bull himself, Mr. Keith Freeman. Now, Mr. Keith Freeman is a criminal, all right? A career criminal. Keith Freeman, he's been in and out of trouble since he was a young person. Uh, he was charged for theft in 2000. He was charged with a felony in Iowa when he turned 27. This was back in 2005. Theft in the second degree. Oh, Keith is a busybody. He has a long rap sheet. He never cleared up his charges because back in 2011, he was in Palm Beach, Florida, where they extradited him back to Iowa. They said out of state fugitive. Fugitive from refugitive from justice. That's your boy, Keith Freeman. Because we all know Tiffany Henyard made a big fuss about not giving background checks. And this is one of the reasons why she didn't want to give a background check. Because anybody that works for municipal, 
department or the city can have felonies. And I'm pretty sure they can't have theft. He's a nationwide criminal. He's been in Iowa. He got caught up in Chicago, Kentucky, Davies County, uh, Kentucky. He's been in Palm Beach, Florida. All these are appearing on his arrest record. How in the world are you filing for bankruptcy, not able to pay your bills? You live in an apartment. That's what I found out from his bankruptcy. He lives in an apartment, probably not so expensive apartment. You're collecting money from the village of Dalton, and you're also collecting money from Thornton Township. So you're making about $150,000 a year. I'm pretty sure it's more. He's saying that he only works for Thornton Township. Your income, Thornton Township, municipality manager, Gross income, $5,800. Now, I'm not the smartest tool in the shed, but from the payroll expenses of Village of Dalton payroll, Keith is on here. This was just in October. Keith Freeman, $3,800 every two weeks. And he claims that he only makes $5,800 from Thornton Township, employer's name, Thornton Township. Shout out to Shawan Burns and the Arm Fisherman for putting out this record. But it even gets worse. The former chief of staff of Dalton talked about Keith Freeman in a very interesting way. Self-righteous individual I have ever met in my life. Her administrator, let me be real clear, Keith D. Freeman is even worse. I had proof that they told us to not come to the board meeting for the trustees. I had proof. He emailed us and said, if we came to the board meeting, you know, because the board meeting was slipped and, and mixed, in, we would be fired immediately. He went into my email and wiped it. He went into my email and wiped it. I only had, when I quit, 20 emails between the two of us. And if I'm the chief of staff and he the village administrator, we talk a lot, right? He wiped it. He came in and said, I need to get rid of the communications director, the former communications director. I said, you might not want to do that because um, he's good at what he do. Guess what? He went and told him, I'm gonna bring somebody else over you. This person has zero experience. He didn't even know how to work a Zoom. He didn't even know how to send an email. He don't know how to make a flyer. He don't know how to do anything relating to communications, but I'm gonna make him over you. This man who's quite literally a, a college level professor. Of course he quit. <laughs> but then guess what? Keith Friedman went and told HR, send him home now. So the next board meeting come up, now everybody's being muted <laughs> because the guy he got don't know what the hell he doing. So I had to step in and then Keith also told us to mute everybody off of Facebook. Any negative comments, delete them, block them, get rid of them. Delete them, block them, because she don't want to hear it. It's not about you. Rule of thumb when it comes to marketing, one-on-one, -on -one, who are you marketing to? The consumer. You may, like, you may not like them shoes, and you sell her some. But guess what? At the end of the day, it ain't about you and what you like, right? It's about what she like because you're trying to appease to your residents, your consumers, the people who vote for you. So this is stuff I'm telling Tiffany, right? And that's just the first part. Now, things I've seen, I can confirm that she, was, they, she and he told us to hold the warrant list from the trustees. You know why? She said, because we are at war, and how do we give our opponent resources to help them? War? And I'm saying this in front on camera, recorded, say it. She said it, I was going to, oh, war. We are at war. I can't give them anything to help them. For your request. So the media reached out and they wanted to know about 
the withhold another FOIA request. Keep in mind, it come to me because I'm HR, right? This is what I do, I'm the HR PR. I reached out to Shantae. No, I first reached out to Jimmy. Even though Shantae is technically a corporate attorney, I learned that from Kiana. <laughs> um, and I'll get to that story in a second, but I went to Jimmy Vasali. He turned, so I emailed him, he didn't call me back. I'm, so I called him, he didn't call me back. I ended up calling Shantae. I said, the media is reaching out to me about something about some FOIA requests they ain't getting responded to. Y'all know y'all ain't did this. He told me to write in my statement, the clerk has not turned it in. Can't do that. Now guess what? I have text messages of what he said to say in this phone, because I did everything for my personal phone. <laughs> for a reason, period. So, he said, no, you're gonna say the clerk refused to give you the information to turn in. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna go lie on this lady, she looked like my mama. <laughs> I'm not about to say that. And that's it, that's all. And then I realized that I'm hearing on a conversation, Keith is going into the deputy clerk's email. Then he hung up on me. I said, did he just say? So yeah, you know what I did? I went right to the deputy clerk. Watch your email, boo, because he's in it. Because he took IT ability, keep in mind, he has IT background, to have access to the back, you know, the back door, the back office, wiping out the emails so you can't use them against them. But now, Mr. Keith Freeman has been indicted for what? Let's check it out. Some breaking news this hour. A top aide to a South Suburban politician has been indicted for bankruptcy fraud. Keith Freeman serves as the village administrator in Dalton and advisor in Thornton Township. He works directly for Tiffany Henyard, who is both the mayor of Dalton and Thornton's supervisor. Oh, my God! Henyard's spending has come under scrutiny after a series of WGN Investigates reports highlighting first-class travel, meals, and public money funneled to her namesake charity. Federal prosecutors accuse Freeman of lying about his income from both of his government positions in his personal bankruptcy filing. Now he's been indicted for bankruptcy fraud because being that him and Tiffany Henyard are buddy buddy over there, she got him a job where we can definitely see how much money he makes, but he's so stupid, he wants to say another salary. Not knowing that People can read because it's in English, right? So now you've been indicted for bankruptcy fraud. And maybe that wouldn't be the case if videos like the armed fisherman felling Keith Freeman files for bankruptcy, Super Mary go see Joe Biden. You see videos like this have alerted people and put the focus on you guys in Dalton than ever before. And is this the beginning of the end? Well, listen, these guys are falling down without the FBI investigations or criminal investigations into the actual administration. These guys are falling down on their own. Andrew Holmes is done. He's scared to come adult. Okay. Keith Freeman is so silly. He gets bankruptcy fraud. Indicted for that. He'll be done. Okay. We're not even into what Lori Lightfoot's trying to do what the trustees are trying to do. You guys are not even smart enough to keep your crimes going so that you can all be on one accord. So who's the last person left? Tiffany Henry. Those house are called cards are falling and your ass is going to jail too, by the way, boo. I cannot wait. I'm going to make so much money off of your ass. I'm telling you once I get through talking about you on this YouTube, and about all of the crimes that they're about to find out about you, I might get a new, like a Jerry Curl install, okay? I might get a Jerry Curl install because as you can see in this AI picture, I'm, gonna look, I'm looking a little bald, right? But if I can get that other money to, to cover the bald spot on that head, girl, do you know what I will be doing? It, it, it'd be like Eric Dickerson on the 85 Rams. So guys, what do you think it's your boy, Shirley Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you do, scare the bell route.